Hey guys, my name is Trevor. Today I've got a 2017 Ford Fusion behind me and we've been driving it for a week. And we thought that we would throw a little review out here. And the only reason we've had this for a week is because old Nova out there is having some trouble. But check out this key. got some good weight to it. There it goes. So with the 2017 Ford Fusion, it was the year that they put a gear selector as a knob like the radio volume instead of putting an actual shifter in it because by doing so they allowed the car to have more room for drinks and a little storage spot for phones and sunglasses wallets whatever and it came with a nice entertainment system the it is a push start Push on the brake, lights up green, push the button, and it's on. Now the first time we rode in this, I thought for sure that when it started it was still off because it is that quiet. And we have uh, the speedometer on the left side and you can switch through it with the buttons on the steering wheel there. Switch through, see your trip information, tire pressure. Your view, and power, engage. Back to speedometer. The speedometer says it'll go up to 120, but being a hybrid, it has a, a an electric motor with it. So that electric motor does most of the starting unless you're accelerating really hard then the gas motor will kick in which is only an inline four cylinder and I'll show you the when you are driving it'll show you how efficiently you're driving so this coach will tell you that if you're blue or green you're doing good at accelerating and braking and cruising and through our little test drives we have been just trying to figure out the braking because it's it's really different from a Corvette and a Jeep so it's taken us some time to get used to but there's a ton of room in here and the seats are all leather they got leather on the doors and the dash looks nice and the most my boys most favorite part about this whole car is the sunroof they absolutely love this open it up and they can look out over there at night and as we're driving look up count the stars do whatever they want Just push the button to stop it now the other great thing about this fusion is that the back seating area is huge. I mean it fits all the car seats in here without any trouble. Heck I can even sit back here and be comfortable. And they've got all the headrests. And this one has the titanium package so it has just about everything but it's under the platform which is the top of the line fusion 2017 this one base price well the price for a base model would be around 26,000 this one with everything it's got and the package it has options it comes up to about 31,000 
the platinum gets up to 37. Now, the gas mileage being a hybrid is actually really good. And I don't think I've ever owned a vehicle with quite that good of gas mileage. What it can do is it can it can get up to 43 miles per gallon in town and 41 miles per gallon on the highway. So it does really good there. But me, not really uh, caring about gas mileage in that or that being four wheel drive, all, all wheel drive. This is amazing to have that kind of gas mileage in town. We haven't taken it on the highway, so we haven't had to, but it is a really nice looking car. And the wheels, I'm, I'm actually really impressed by them because our fusion that we had, it didn't, the wheels weren't that great. It is, an, it, is, it is a really nice looking car, but this looks really nice. Now, the Fusion that we had was a lot faster because it was a V6. And you push the gas and it would go. You give it the meat and it would take it. This comes with supposed to come with a paint film protective but I'm not too sure about that it's got some scuffs here and there but overall it is a really nice looking car and it drives wonderful the noise is quite enough that you can hear the boys breathing in the back when they're not yelling and screaming at each other which kids will do Now the trunk space on this, my wife wasn't too impressed with it, but I thought it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's pretty deep. And the batteries are back here for the electric motor. It does have the park assist and when you're braking, it'll charge the electric motor. I didn't record any of the, the driving simply because we were just trying to get to and from where we wanted to, needed to go. But this thing does drive really good and doesn't have an issue really. We, uh, we've actually thought about getting one, and I'm not too big of a Ford guy, so that would change up things quite a bit for me. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, tell me what you think about the car, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night.